So I have a, a, a something that hopefully people can remember. Three A's. To move forward, you need to make sure you have awareness of the situation, acceptance of the situation, and then actionable steps to rectify that. Everybody deserves a little bit of love, compassion, and empathy right now during these hard times. Your course might be a little different, but keep moving forward. And I want to say resilience isn't just about getting up when something happens. It's how you get up after a setback that makes the difference. How can you learn from this? How can you grow? How can you take this disappointment and make it into your biggest asset? Every aspect of my career, the good, the bad, has also made me the athlete I am today. Uh, next time something happens to you and you think to the universe, like, really now? Just take a second, think about your why, and ask yourself how you can come out of this. The most important thing, and Carmelina uh, briefly uh, talked about it, is accepting uh, the situation. One uh, little quote that often helped me when I had a difficult period or when I was injured is, you know, it is what it is, not what it should be. So make the best out of it. And we need to adapt, but accept that this situation is here. Make the best out of sit the, this situation. Put your focus on things you can control. Be in the present as much as possible. And uh, in a couple months, this will all be behind this. So in 2018, I, I suffered a pretty severe back injury and basically have been fighting to come back for our Tokyo qualifier. Uh, and leading into those games, I remember meeting with our sports psychologist and, and he said, you know, what, what is one thing you want to take away from this weekend? You know, what's one thing you want to take away from this one game you're about to play? And I was like, you know what? The thing that keeps coming top of mind is to be grateful that I'm playing again. Um, and here we are in a similar situation where all of us kind of have to push pause for a good chunk of time. Um, and I know that when I'm going back, it will be the same thing, just to be grateful for the opportunity that is presented. There are so many ways in which we can adapt and normally we adapt just to get by. And then another option is Adaptability 2.0, which is prompted by an internal shift. And it's us stepping fully into our power to transform. And I use the word transform because it has an enduring quality to it. And it's likely because the process requires us to like grind it out, address root issues and build cohesive solutions. So push yourself to that next level of adaptability 2.0 and take advantage of your moment to transform. Being supported by this wonderful organization when I needed the most during my career was just instrumental in me, one, staying in sport and also just continuing to move forwards toward my goal of representing Canada at the Olympics. It gave me a community and a family that believed in me and ultimately led me to the Olympics in 2008. So I just wanted to say thank you again. Thank you to everyone who supports this organization, who's been showing up for these CAN talks, who's here today. Um, it's, you know, it's really because of all of you. Um, so thank you. And I also have the great pleasure of surprising a few athletes uh, on the call as well. Uh, so big, big shout out to Kenzie Pradell from Artistic Swimming, Madison Bailey from the Sport of Rowing, Haley McKelvey from Water Polo, and Trevor Hoffbauer from Athletics. Congrats, guys. You are new Can Fund recipient. Welcome to the family.